Hey there, TC here, and today I'll be showing you the best settings that you can use or you know on a PC in Destiny 2. And Destiny 2 is something that I've been playing um quite a lot and quite recently. Oh, so yeah, I'll be showing you the best settings you know to get the best you know picture quality and also performance um for Destiny 2, especially helpful you know in PvP. So yep, let's get right into it. So right here. All you want to do is you want to go up to the cop icon right here and then you want to go into video and then under the video section you can see my controller cursor here uh, you want to select full screen if can if you can if not window full screen i like playing on window full screen but full sc if you can play on full screen get the best performance resolution check your monitors you know native resolution Mine is 2560 by 1080 ultra wide, so I'm gonna pick that. And then for VSync, make sure to have it off. You always want to have it off. Frame rate cap. Uh, you can enable or disable it. I usually like to enable it and keep it to my monitor's refresh rate. Field of view, if you can, try to increase it all the way up, but um, I just have it at the default 85%. 85, um, and the lower you decrease your field of view, the more narrower things get, but you get more performance. But if you can, I would suggest you to max it out to get the best, you know, performance. Uh, yeah, so you can see more on your screen and that will definitely help you, especially if you have a bigger monitor or you can sit closer to your monitor. Um, yeah, that is what I would suggest you to do. And for brightness, uh, you can definitely, I would suggest you to just go all the way up. So this way you can see enemies, you know, in darker areas. That's what I would suggest. Graphic quality, custom all the way. Turn off everything, make it to the lowest, turn it off, everything. Make sure to select the top option, which is the lowest one. And then after that, for texture quality, make sure to set it to highest. Uh, and then environmental detail distance high as well character detail distance high as well foliage detail distance um foliage shadow distance high as well um the reason for this is so that you can get the uh, best performance but in terms of detail distance you want to max it out so you can see enemies uh clearer from like really really far range and it's really really good in not only in PvP but in PvE when enemies are really really far and you're trying to spot them, you know, you can see them before they see you. You know, if you if the enemy is using something like low and you're using something like high, you'll be able to spot them way before they they're able to see you. And then yeah, motion blur, wind impulse, everything off, light shelves, medium, render resolution. Um if you're having you know low frame rates, uh, I would suggest at least 60. Um, then I would suggest you to lower it down or lower it down until you hit that magical 60. If not, um, I would suggest you to just use the regular 100%. And then, yeah, um, I would suggest you to do around 75 lowest. You can go with 50, um, but if you're having frame rate issues, definitely you can change it to something like 75. So HDR, if you have HDR display, turn it on, chromatic aberration, film grain off, turn it all off. And for Nvidia Reflex, what I'll suggest you to do is to turn it on plus boost. So this way you get the uh, best performance. And yeah, and then for Hard opacity, and then under the gameplay section, hard opacity, I'll, I'll suggest you to put it to full colorblind mode. You can use a different colorblind, uh, colorblind mode depending, you know, on uh, what color you like. Full auto firing, I'll suggest you to, to turn it on. Full auto melee, I'll suggest you to turn it on, um, unless you are using the hunter class and you want to do like the, um, what could that, the uh, shadow slide or like melee slide then you want to turn it off and for pc uh like radical location you want to turn it on to pc this way so that when you aim downside your 
process perfectly at the center of your screen and a lot of monitors nowadays have you know built in like crosshairs so you can use that and with you know your regular crosshair that is given to you in destiny in like all of your weapons yeah you will be much easier to you know pinpoint enemies as well so that is what i would suggest even though you're using a controller just use the pc default natural radical color uh yeah you can pick any of these color i i like to keep it default target radical color red as well stands out um you know the most uh helmet um oh you can turn it always on off in non-combat zones i like to keep it always on fps display i will suggest you to keep it on so this way you can always see your fps display hints on as well under social settings um you don't have to change any of this um, these are not really important for sound uh, SFX volume 10 uh, Cinematic volume 10 I would suggest music volume to be 0 uh, But I like to have it at 5 Best performance is 0 Chat volume If you're having chat You know you can turn it up as much as you want Muted when not focused I would suggest you to put it on muted And then Yep that's uh, basically it So this is so this is how you get, you know, the best um, performance, best image quality, especially important for PvP to get the best, you know, advantage in PvP and, you know, even in PvE, you know, some of the more difficult missions, you know, you get the best amount of frames, you get, you know, um, the best amount of um, picture quality and detail. And yeah, that is what I would um, suggest you to have with you know definitely if you crank up the settings all the way you can get you know the best looking image but in terms of performance um, to it looking good i think this is what um you should do and this is the settings that a lot of people use especially in pvp you know in your uh, competitive queue in your trials of osiris that is what a lot of people use um so yeah let me know if these uh, settings actually help and if it helps you know hey do drop a like and do subscribe and last but not least you know thank you all so much for watching and hope this helps and i hope to see you in the next video bye for now